I want you to know that President Obama is now known to me as a sweetheart. I was in Puerto Rico the other day and I was on a fishing trip and, you know, catching tarpon and stuff like that with my buddy. And on the way back, on the day we were to come back, I go to get on the airplane and my buddy says to me, he says, Billy, he says, I got you an upgrade ticket on the, on the airplane. You know, you're going to have fly first class. Didn't cost him anything, you know, he had bonus points or something. So at any rate, for the first time in my life, I got to sit in like a captain's chair on, a, on an aeroplane and, you know, sipping on the suds and, mm, and, you know how they do, they lean back so when the stewardess walk by, you can get a good view. And it was a perfect place. So you, the machine, you know, you can adjust the chair with the, with the dials. I mean, I had the whole nine thing, the free drinks, the free food, everything. So we're flying back. First time. I mean, I was really happy. I was really enjoying this trip. We get up near Philadelphia. We're about 100 miles out over the ocean, and the captain comes on board, the speaker, and he says there's been a delay at the Philadelphia airport. We'll be circling around a half hour before we can land. I thought, oh, good. You know, so I put my head back and keep watching on the stewardesses and make sure everything's going the way it should. Well, you know. Another half hour goes by, goes by quick, you know, but I'm enjoying myself there, right? All of a sudden the captain comes back on and he says, there's going to be another half hour delay in getting into Philadelphia. There's about a hundred planes stacked up. There's no uh, nobody landing in Philadelphia. What the hell's going on? He says, President Obama's in Philadelphia to give a speech. Oh, I got it. Great. This is beautiful. This is, a, this is a man that talks about saving energy, makes 80 planes stack up, but I'm, for the first time in my life, I'm on first class, and I don't give a damn. That boy has done something for me. He gave me an extra hour of first class. Now, that, I don't know anybody can say they got anything like that out of Obama, but I got first class, and I'm supporting Obama for president. At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce, we also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have Nana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.